My own faith in religious pluralism is a legacy of my upbringing in secular India. Secularism in India did not mean irreligiousness, which even avowedly atheist parties like the Communists or the Southern DMK, Dravida Munnitra Kazagam, found unpopular amongst their voters. Indeed, in Calcutta's annual Durga Puja, the Communist parties compete with each other to put up the most lavish puja pandals, the Hindu religious displays. Rather, secularism meant in the Indian tradition a profusion of religions, none of which was privileged by the state. I remember how in the Calcutta neighborhood, where I lived during my high school years, the veil of the musin calling the Islamic faithful to prayer blended with the chant of the mantras and the tinkling of bells at the nearby Shiva temple and the crackling loudspeakers outside the Sikh Gurudwara, reciting verses from the Guru Granth Sahib. And just around the corner was St. Paul's Cathedral. As we have seen, the irony is that India's secular coexistence was paradoxically made possible by the fact that the overwhelming majority of Indians are Hindus. That acceptance of difference, which I have explored in this book and elsewhere, characterized the Hinduism propagated by Vivekananda and the other Vinjvani Hindu seers. This meant that it came naturally to Hindus to coexist with practitioners of other faiths. In a plural society, religious pluralism was merely one of its kind. One more kind of difference everyone just accepted. Just as we knew that around us were people who spoke different languages, ate different foods, dressed differently and had different shades of skin colors from ours. Before we move on, I would like you guys to hit a pause and please subscribe to the channel. It's free of course and you can always change your mind. And yes, for a way to start the booktube journey yet again with an extract from a new genre, a novel on a particular topic, in this case, Hinduism. And it's me, Prithu Shandala, the co-founder of Booktube, back after a long time. I hope you are up to date with the socials. The links will be up on your screen now and also the video description. And I hope you guys are following us through this. Now let us move on to the second extract from this book. The inevitable backlash to my writings about Hindutva excesses from the Babri Masjid demolition to the Gujarat horrors. It has largely taken the form of belligerent emails and assorted social media fulminations from the less reflective of the Hindutva Brigade. I have been excoriated as anti-Hindu and described by several as a well-known leftist, which will no doubt amuse those of my friends who knew me in college 30 years ago as one of those very few supporters of Rajaji's conservative Swatantra party in those consensually socialist times. And from time to time, a Hindutva Vadi reminding me of the religion that has been mine from the birth, succumbed to the temptation to urge me to predictably heed that well-worn slogan, Gar se kaho ki hum Hindu hain, say with pride that we are Hindus. Alright, let's take up on him. I am indeed proud that I am a Hindu. But what if it is that I am and am not proud? I am not proud of my co-religionists attacking and destroying Muslim homes and shops. I am not proud of Hindus raping Muslim girls or slitting the wombs of Muslim mothers. I am not proud of Hindu vegetarians who have roasted human beings alive and rejoiced over the corpses. I am not proud of those who reduce the lofty metaphysical speculations of the Upanishads to the petty bigotry of their own sense of identity, which they assert in order to exclude not embrace others. I am proud that India's pluralism is paradoxically sustained by the fact that the overwhelming majority of Indians are Hindus because Hinduism has taught them to live amidst a variety of other identities. Yes, I am proud to be a Hindu.
We come to an end of this session with an excellent quote from Shashi Tharoor, reflecting the reality of the current religious scenario. And the book is Why Am I a Hindu by Shashi Tharoor himself, available for a price of 550 rupees on Amazon.in, published by Aleph Book Company. It's a tale of Hinduism and its core tenets, as well as socio-cultural developments in India that relate to the religion while elucidating his own religious convictions. Tharoor intended the book to be a repudiation of Hindu nationalism and its rise in Indian society, which relied upon an interpretation of the religion which was marked differently from the one with which he had grown up and was familiar with. In seeking to address this concern, he wanted to position the debate as one within the Hindu faith and therefore wrote about his own personal identification with this religion. A definite read, a definite read, and it's so relatable and so true in the current scenario. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this channel. And thank you for sticking with me. It's been a long time, but yes, we'll be more consistent with uploads. Stay tuned and keep enjoying books. A happy week ahead from my side. Cheers and Namaste.